Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Nonsense Reviews here on the Nonsense Media Club YouTube channel. The name is Brian Chevre, and today I'm going to be talking about the long-anticipated sequel to Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, directed by Joaquin Don Santos, Ken Powers, and Justin K. Thompson, and featuring the talents of Shamik Moore, Hallie Stainfield, Brian Tyree Henry, Issa Rae, Jake Johnson, Daniel Kaluuya, Oscar Isaac, and many many more now this movie we've all seen at this point hopefully we've seen this uh, first movie into the spider-verse and uh, many people myself included think that into the spider-verse is the best spider-man movie period uh for the longest time i believe that the uh, the sam raimi spider-man 2 was the best spider-man uh, film of them all even after the uh, uh homecoming uh, far from home and no way home But to me, no, uh, Into the Spider-Verse is, the, is on the top of the best uh, Spider-Man movies. And there's a lot to live up to coming into the sequel. This, uh, the movie came out in 20, 2018. I remember the films weren't, uh, the, the theaters weren't that f uh, full. People were watching Aquaman or maybe Mary Poppins Returns. But I really, really remember loving this movie when it came out. So there was a lot of t anticipation for this movie, a lot of hopes. Some movies fall off after the sequel, and this, uh, this movie, Into the Spider-Verse, set a very high bar, winning the, the, the Oscar of Best Animated Feature. Good Lord, this is even better than Into the Spider-Verse. I didn't think it had a shot, but Jesus Christ. When it comes to animation alone, to me, this movie... It's beautifully amazing, and uh, we've seen a lot of other films uh, trying to replicate some of the techniques from Into the Spider-Verse. We've seen it with the Puss in Boots movie. We are seeing it in the upcoming TMNT Music Mayhem film in August, but nobody does it better than the Spider-Verse. This movie, every time they go into another universe, it has a very specific animation style. The Gwen Stacy universe, it looks absolutely gorgeous and every time we jump from universe to universe the animation style and the colors and everything it all changes and it looks beautiful even the characters themselves even the different spider-man and the villains have their own distinct animated uh style and this movie is just a fantastic win for the animation industry i, I loved it but this is not just a great animated movie without a doubt I've seen John Wick 4. I've seen the Super Mario Brothers movie. I've seen plenty of movies this year. This is the best movie of 2023. Across the Spider-Verse is not just a great animated movie, but a great, great movie as a whole. This movie, uh, it takes place in the Spider-Verse. You know, yet another multiverse story. And, I, and I, I don't recall being on record on this, but I don't like multiverse stories. I think it was a mistake for the MCU to head into this uh, head-on, uh, you know, uh, tackling the multiverse. It was going to be confusing for the general audience. And uh, the only great multiverse story that I really enjoyed was the last TMNT special, Turtles Forever. And I, I love that, uh, that special. But to me, that's the only special that's done it well until the Spider-Verse rolled in. So it had a high bar, and this movie manages to put it, uh, to amp it up to an 11. It's a very great movie. Uh, uh, the action of the movie, the animation styles, uh, the story. Most importantly, the story. This movie never loses focus on its main characters. And it puts story first and then sequ uh, action sequences later. And it could, it, could be, it could have been very easy to lean on on the cameos. But the cameos in this movie, the cameos that we see in this movie are very meaningful to the story. And it serves the story. There's a purpose to those cameos, to some characters, the purpose to the characters. We never lose sight of the, of the Miles Morales story. We see how he struggles, balancing his life as Spider-Man and, and as Miles Morales, struggling to keep his, se uh, his secret as the Spider-Man of this universe. There's a lot revealed in this movie. Uh, the stories of each Spider-Man and why they go through the you know, through the pain that they had to go through. There's a, there's a reason to it. And this movie, you can feel it long, but even after the ending of this movie, you just want the third one to just start rolling in right now. That's the way I felt. The movie 
before you guys go into it, and let me prepare you for this. When they announced the sequel to the Spider-Verse, they were announced as Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 and Part 2. They renamed those two parts, these two movies. But just so you guys know, this is definitely a Part 1 to a... To a to to a man, to a trilogy a part no a part two of part three you know Spider Verse being part one then part two part three you guys will love the ending if you love the first uh, Spider Verse film I to me this movie is getting is gonna be without a doubt if they can stick the landing on Beyond the Spider Verse this is gonna be without a doubt the best Spider Man movie series of them all the best Spider Man trilogy of them all. Better than the Tom Holland movies, better than the Tobey Maguire movies, better than the Andrew Garfield movies. This is the definitive Spider-Man. This is how great stories are, are told. This is why you studios need to pay your writers and Marvel start taking notes. This is how you do a multiverse story. Never lose focus of the main story. Yes, yes, it's easy to just lean on on the cameos, but at the end of the day, people, and if this movie does well, in the box office. I don't expect it to break grounds like the Super Mario Brothers movie, but if it does, and I hopefully I'm wrong, but if it does, they better take notes. Every single studio, but especially Marvel Studios, movie, people are not coming in to just watch a movie. They're coming in expecting to see a great story. People are here to watch a great story unfold, and to me, this year, it, this is the great, the best story of this year, and to me, Across the Spider-Verse is a, without a doubt, five, five out of five. To me, the best movie of this year. We know, oh, we got a lot of movies in the, into this year. I, we got Indiana Jones. We got the Barbie movie, Oppenheimer. I don't care. Hopefully, we'll see. But Across the Spider-Verse, to me, right now, number one movie of this year, without a doubt. I had a lot of fun with this movie. I need Beyond the Spider-Verse now. And I cannot wait to watch it. Anyways, guys, did you guys watch the movie? Let me know in the comment sections down below. And remember to subscribe to the Nonsense Media Club YouTube channel. We are heading into the next Living Nonsense episode with the Nonsense Crew. We're going to have a lot more nonsense reviews. And upcoming this, uh, later this month, my podcast, Beyond Nonsense, a Nonsense Media Club podcast, is going to be on Spotify. So please do subscribe for more news on that. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for coming into this show and I'll be seeing you guys next time.